Leviathan here, a question that people ask a lot is, can you daily drive a supercar? The answer is exactly what you want, and that is most certainly you can daily drive a supercar. But I feel the real question is, is it practical? So today we're going to talk about the different dimensions about daily driving a supercar. So let's go for a cruise. Before we go into the practical side of daily driving a supercar, let's start with some context. The McLaren 650S, in principle, is the perfect example of a supercar that you can daily drive. It has a lift system that will allow you to clear bumpy roads, speed bumps, as well as parking garages. The lift system also stays fully raised at city speeds, which is around 60 kilometers an hour. It has a nav system which is extremely intuitive to use. It has cruise control. It has a dual clutch transmission that works at city speeds, in traffic, and even works in auto mode. The visibility in the car is phenomenal. You have a 360 view with very small blind spots. And driving this car is extremely easy. I have yet to let my girlfriend drive the McLaren. That being said, it sounds like the perfect daily driver, but the question really comes down to, is it practical? So let's cover a few dimensions of the practicality of daily driving a supercar. First really comes down to the maintenance and repair of a supercar. I feel that supercars are really designed and tested on the track, where you have smooth roads, you have sweeping turns, and you're putting the car through very high stress situations at high RPM. City driving, on the other hand, I feel puts a very different kind of stress on a supercar. The horrible bumpy roads put a lot of stress on the suspension, which is why I have a lot of suspension leaks. The start and stop traffic really put a strain on the clutch, which is not cheap to repair, nor is it covered under warranty. It costs around $20,000. Then there's the overall general wear and tear that comes with daily driving and any sort of repair on a McLaren, be it paintwork or a minor scratch or door ding, is not cheap to cover up. So if you are going to be daily driving a supercar, it's going to have a pretty heavy price tag. Number two is the overall sensation of daily driving. You may live in a completely different area than I do, but my experience daily driving is not a fun one. Let me just paint the picture of what my experience would be like if I was daily driving. Well, I would spend about five minutes going out of my underground parking lot. Once I emerge out of my underground parking lot, I will take one road south to where I work. This road will be completely packed with traffic as everyone is just crawling to get to work where they leave no room between the cars. I'll have to pay constant attention to where every single car is around me, making sure that there is enough room. Then, once I get to work, I'm gonna have to navigate down an underground parking lot looking for a good and safe spot to park. And to me, that entire experience does not sound fun and exciting. Reason number three is the additional stress driving the car in traffic as well as leaving it parked for a very long period of time. You've seen some of the reactions I get while I'm driving and you've also seen some of the reactions I've gotten while the car is parked. And people are capable of anything. And to be honest, I do not want to have that stress in the back of my mind. When I'm working, I like to be 100% focused at work. And there may be times I have to travel and I really don't want to leave my car park for extended periods of time because to be honest I don't want to have that additional stress that comes along with it and finally reason number four which I think is the most important reason to me and that is I feel that daily driving a supercar makes the experience a little less special for me driving a supercar is an experience that I always want to cherish for me, driving is a way to de-stress, clear my mind, and really indulge in the driving sensation. And I want to keep it as pure as possible. 
and I feel that daily driving just takes a little bit away from that overall experience which I do not want to taint and I want to keep this experience as pure and as special as possible which is why I don't daily drive the McLaren I believe in principle supercars are very capable of being daily driven but it really comes down to the practicality of it so those are the four practical reasons why I do not daily drive a supercar. I am curious to know what your thoughts are as well. Thanks for watching. Until next time.